In this video tutorial, I'm going to cover how to create an index file in Visual Studio Code and upload it to GitHub's class repository. This index file will display all of your assignment folders inside of the class repository. I'm in Visual Studio Code and I'm at my class folder. I'm going to go ahead and create a new file. This new file is going to be called index.html. I'm going to go ahead and select the exclamation point and then tab. And then I'm just going to name this document Assignment Navigation. And inside the body tag, I'm just going to keep this simple and I'm going to type nav and tab and a UL and tab and a list and tab. And I'm just going to save this file to clean up my layout. Inside of my list item, I'm going to type in a tag and I'm going to type CH02. And between the, the greater than and less than signs, I'm going to type in chapter 2 and I'm going to select save. If you have other files nested inside of your assignment folder, you will want to make sure that you create a list item for each file. Here is an excellent example from a student for you to review. I'm going to clean this up and put this all on one line. I'm going to copy this list item and I'm going to paste. And instead of chapter 2, I'm going to say chapter 3 because that's my chapter 3 folder. And then this will be chapter three. I'm going to go ahead and paste because I have four chapters in here. And this will be chapter four. There's my chapter four. And I'll go ahead and paste. And I will save this. Now I already have GitHub open. I'm going to put this into my WebD168 folder. I really don't have anything in here. So I'm going to add files. Upload files, choose your files. I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to go to the WebD168 folder. I'm going to select chapter two, chapter three, chapter four, and the index file. And I'm going to go ahead and drag those into my repository. It's uploading now. It's now completed. I'll go down to the bottom and I'll commit the changes. I'll now go to my settings tab. I'll go to pages and I'll visit site. Now it may take a minute or two for my index file to appear. Let me just refresh. And when I refresh, you'll see that I have a chapter two, a chapter three, and a chapter four. And if so to show you a more complete index file that was created by a student, I'm going to right click, view the page source. And here you can see that this person put together a WebD 168 directory. And she even gave this an H1 tag where it's WebD 168 and the directory. If you're taking WebD 152, that would be the name of yours, Web, WebD 152. Even went and added in some HTML layout to make her page look even better. She's using an, an ordered list. I used an unordered list, but you feel free to use an ordered list. Here's her list item, so each one. And hers is even more complete because she added the, the complete folder another folder where this file is located and then she named her file. Here is a copy of what her index page looks like. So I suggest that you create index file that is at the root of your WebD 168 folder. So notice it's outside of any of my assignment folders and then upload that to GitHub and then I will be able to see a complete list of all of the folders and the files that you have nested inside of those folders. Thank you very much.